Hello and welcome. My name is Charity and this message is for Virgo. We're going to be looking at the love energies of January. So this will be a you and them love reading. So we'll have your cards on one side, your person's cards on the other. And we're going to look into how you're feeling about one another, some things that are happening in your daily life, intentions and the connection, possible outcome. more cards for you, Virgo, and then <laughs> love the way you show up in your reading. Look at that. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Couple cards for you, and we have those. Now I'm going to get your person. Let's see. Get these all in here. Sorry to adjust that. person already seeing some mirroring you both have the page of wands whoa <laughs> I feel like there's a desire to talk here and look at that justice for the heart of the matter for you and that is on the bottom of the deck for your person I just noticed that <laughs> um, ooh the bottom of the deck for you is the Ace of Cups. Wow. So you are definitely feeling this love. Okay, let's get into this. So for the heart of the matter, we have justice. Uh, that is Libra energy. But that is the good that you put out comes back to you. Virgo, you... <laughs> The Virgos I know, oh my gosh, they're so kind, so generous, so caring, such healing people, just to be in your presence. And I know I've, I've spent the past 14 years of my life with a Virgo, and obviously it is a sign that I that I enjoy tremendously because I would not spend that, uh, that kind of my time with one if I didn't. And... One thing I do know is you guys can be really hard on yourselves and you can you can be a little sometimes a little critical of the people that you care about too but it's not negative. I think that it's really important for people to realize your Virgo is trying to help you be your best because they're always trying to be their best. It's just how they are. But you guys are tougher on yourselves than anyone else and I think it's hard for you to fully comprehend because you hold yourself to such a high standard and you always want to go to the next level, it's hard for you to comprehend just how much good you have accomplished, just how much you have put out there. The way that you have impacted the lives around you, you don't even know it. And it's just the little things you do day in and day out. You have a healing touch, a healing voice. And I don't know why Spirit really wants you to know that right now. I haven't really read into the other readings like this. I've been bouncing back and forth, but I feel, and I, and I haven't, haven't really talked about myself. I tend to do that more in the collective messages because these are just really for you. But I feel like Spirit really wants to remind Virgo, especially with the Justice card coming out. You have put a lot of good out so much more than you even realize and now is the time for it to come back to you that is the justice you receiving the fair share of the good that you have put out there and um and i just see that that is coming towards you and since we're looking at love we're seeing justice in a relationship sometimes justice showing up can mean that there's been some injustice in a connection or injustice in love but now the good that you have put out is coming back to you and you so deserve it just own that for your person we have the page of wands aries leo sagittarius energy somebody really wants to talk to you they i feel like they're missing you um 
but I'm not sure they're reaching out because the way that this card is coming up, do you see this? We have the Page of Wands here, but it's kind of facing away from your energy here, Virgo. It's like they want to talk to you. They're thinking about you. They care about you. They're passionate about you. They want a fresh start. And yet, it's almost like their back is turned. Like they are like, like waiting for you to come to them in a sense. That's that's just what I'm getting. They want to hear from you. And that doesn't surprise me because one thing I do know about Virgos, and being honestly very much deeply in love with two Virgos <laughs> that I just adore so much. Um, sometimes you can, the Virgos can be quiet. Sometimes you feel a lot more than you say. And I feel like it's not a cold thing at all. It's just you're waiting for that perfect moment or that perfect time <laughs> and just to come out and you know when you're ready and when you have it all together like this king of pentacles when you have enough to offer and enough to provide but I have to say Virgo there's never in life there's never specifically going to be that exact perfect time because we're always growing we're always changing we're always learning we're always bettering ourselves there's always going to be that next goal that you have there's always going to be that next thing that you want to do and that's okay but a big part of the fun of life is just enjoying the ride making most of moments you have you don't necessarily have to wait for the perfect moment especially if someone loves you they want to be with you right now they don't want you to be perfect they want you to be present <laughs> i don't know why it's coming through like this the way that it's coming through it feels so specific but sometimes i feel like those specific messages are the ones that almost reach the most people because i really open up and i really share my vulnerability and i feel like i am feeling a little vulnerable in this specific message um and it doesn't surprise me because here i am in aries and aries is here showing up and here we have the virgo here in the middle of this reading and as i love I love my Virgos. My twin flame is a Virgo. My soulmate is a Virgo. I love my Virgos so much. But I don't think that there's, I know anyone nearly as kind or as generous as a Virgo. And I don't know anyone as hard on themselves as the Virgo. And let me tell you, the people that love you do not have the expectations of you that you have of yourself. Like your expectations are so high for yourself. I feel like you almost think that the people that love you feel the same way, like they hold you to that standard, but they don't, they just love you. <laughs> they just love you for who you are in this moment. Someone needs to know that. The person that loves you and the people that love you, be they like um, love interest or family or friends, they love you for who you are. They love you for the healing energy that, that you bring to their lives. They love you for the way that you show up. Like my Virgo, I got to tell you guys, he is not the best on like the big days, you know, like the, um, like the Valentines or the birthdays or things like that, you know, um, what my Virgo is best at is showing up every single day and being there and being the person that I can count on. So maybe he's not as extravagant in those really big ways. And I'm not saying all Virgos are like that. There are some Virgos I know that are very extravagant. But the thing that, that just keeps me coming back is the way that he shows up in the little things. And if this is a cross watcher and you're watching this and you're not sure how your Virgo feels, if they are doing those little things, just those little things, even if it's just something like <laughs> my, my Virgo will just like clean my car, just come to my work and like, like take my car and clean it and bring it back and I'll walk out of work and my car is clean. And it's like the little things like that, that's love. Like that's, that is a way that they show love. And it's like, yeah, I would love like some huge romantic gesture, you know, like on a special day. But when you have somebody who will just come randomly and do something that they know you really need, it's so precious in its own way. So I ask you if you're a cross watcher and if you're in a connection with a Virgo to appreciate those things because it means a lot. They say a lot in like the littlest things. 
So I don't know why, like maybe I've just <laughs> haven't done so many readings in one day that I'm starting to like really, <laughs> really feel this. But um, usually like when I'm doing these readings, I kind of step back. But the way that spirit is coming through is coming through in such a personal way. Spirit just wants to remind you, Virgo, and you, person that loves the Virgo, just they are they are very special be tender be gentle be kind with your Virgo because they are they are sensitive people a lot more than they than they let others realize so in your daily life Virgo <laughs> you have the page of wands I love this and because my, after three years of my my Virgo just started a new just started a new job um, yesterday literally so you might be having a new beginning in your daily life Virgo you might be having a new job new relationship new area of study it's a new year happy new year so it might be just fresh new starts I also feel like you want a new beginning in communication and as I was saying look we have some mirroring here with your your person um, Virgo is kind of wanting to talk but sort of facing the other way I see you wanting to talk but facing the connection this might be your moment to reach out Virgo this might be the time that if somebody's on your mind that's someone that you've been waiting for that perfect moment to reach out to just know that they're right there they want to talk to you I mean they might reach out to this might be messages coming towards you it can really go either way but they're this is they are open to this it's interesting how these cards, you have the white on, uh, for your card, Virgo, and your person has the blue. I don't know. That feels oddly significant to me somehow. Like someone has this, has something to do like with blue. Like your person might have blue eyes or blue, blue shirt, blue something. I don't know. <laughs> it just feels significant. Um, but... With yours being like white, I feel like your intentions are good, your intentions are pure, your intentions are right. And when you reach out, you're going to say the right thing, you're going to do the right thing. Um, but like I said, this can be messages coming towards you too. It really goes, um, can go either way. Your person in their daily life has the Ten of Wands. Wrapping up a very burdensome cycle. <laughs> this person has carried a lot, they've done a lot. Um, I mean, no wonder you're attached to them or attracted to them if they're on your mind because nobody, I don't think, works as hard as a Virgo. And you've got somebody that also just puts in their all. They, they take on so much. They do so much. They care so much. Sometimes they lose sight of what matters. Sometimes they lose sight of their feelings because they're trying to do so much and your person is in that spot Virgo maybe they've been trying to do so much that they've almost lost sight of what matters in this connection but absolutely does not mean they don't love you because in the heart space they've got the Sun they are crazy about you um, Leo energy this is Leo Aries Sagittarius energy um, you make them so happy like you make them so happy. I'm not sure if they're communicating that. I have to say, with just the way this page of wands is facing away from the from the um, from your cards here, and the way that they're carrying so much, they can hardly see what's in front of them. I'm not sure if they're really communicating, but you make them so happy. You make them feel excited about life. You make them feel passionate. You make them feel new. Like, um. And for you, it's interesting because I was talking about you wanting to do the right thing. I swear I just said that. In your heart space, you have the hair font. This, this can be a card of marriage. This can be a card of proposal. This can be a card of introducing people to your family. This can be taking things to the next level. I feel like you're really ready for the next level in this connection. Virgo and I feel like maybe that's what you two are going to talk about because I do see communication here. I can't get over the way that you both have this page of wands. I do see you talking um, and communicating and I feel like your person is going to tell you how happy 
that you make them and how much they care and how strong their feelings are. And I feel like you're going to tell them you're, <laughs> you want to take things to the next level. Like this is, <laughs> this is doing right by your person. And like I said, it can be marriage. It can be engagement. There is something about divine timing happening here. This is, um, Sagittarius energy, I believe. Um, but this is the Two of Cups in the hands of Source, in the hands of Divine. You are not on your own, Virgo. Um, Source has a plan for you. Spirit has a plan for you. Has a plan for your life and has these Two of Cups. Has the love, like the love of your life, they're telling me, like right in their hands. They're guiding you. Spirit is guiding you. So you can trust in that. You can trust that there is, <laughs> there is good and there is love and there is divine timing. Something very specific about divine timing. But once again, I see you, I see you, Virgo, reaching out. And like I said, this can be messages coming towards you. This is um, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Also a new beginning, once again, you might be starting a new job, definitely starting a new year, um, might be starting a new relationship, might be starting to talk about taking things to the next level. But I do feel like you are reaching out and some part of you feels like you might not be fully ready. Um, but <laughs> you might feel like the Page of Pentacles, but in the final outcome, you're the King of Pentacles. This doesn't have anything to do with gender. Um, male or female, you have it all. You have everything that is needed for this moment, for this connection, for this love. Just you being who you are is enough, is exactly what this person is looking for, is exactly what they're longing for. I do get a sense that they're longing for you. They're, I feel like they're praying for you. They're praying for source. They're praying for divine to bring them to you. If this is someone you haven't met yet, they are longing for you. They are waiting for you. Um, and your potential outcome cards, you have the five of swords, you have the three of cups, and you have the king of pentacles. I do feel like, for some of you, and this is just some, that this is someone that you've been connected with. There might have been a falling out with. So there might have been words. There might have been a separation. Somebody wanted to be right, possibly. Somebody was disappointed. Only you know if you're the person that wanted to be right or if you're the person that just walked away because you don't want the drama. You don't want the challenges. I feel like sometimes you need to have those tough conversations, though. And I feel like you love this person. I feel like you want to connect with them. You want to be with them. You want to celebrate with them. This person feels like family to you. So sometimes we have to make things right to, in order to make things right and do the right thing, which I feel like you really want to do. Sometimes we have to have those tough conversations. Sometimes we have to let go of worrying about being right and just be there. So you don't have to be right. You don't have to be perfect. You person, cross watcher, this can go either way. You don't have to be right. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be honest and you have to be there. And I see you. I do see you celebrating together, lifting cups together. Um, you might be seeing each other at some sort of family event, um, might be going out as <laughs> with friends. You might talk and say, maybe we can just be friends or maybe we can start by being friends and see where it goes. Because I see the long term, I see marriage on your mind, I see a connection. But you might say, you know, let's let's talk, let's get together, let's, let's talk about like, you know, our friendship and where this can go from there. I see a lot of potential. You do feel like this is somebody that you can really trust. This is Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy. Here we have Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. So, um, I do feel like you know who you are and you know what you want. 
but there is wedding all over this reading. A Three of Cups is very often a wedding or a celebration, and the Hierophant also is so funny. I almost slipped into Spanish. Um, has also wanted to take things to the next level. Words like boda and tambien were popping into my mind. I think in Spanish sometimes, so it's funny. Um, but. I feel like there has been some miscommunication. There has been a falling out. I feel like someone is going to have to make the first move. And Crosswatcher, if you feel like there's been some quiet, if you're waiting for your Virgo, it might be time to reach out to them just to see how they're doing, just to check in. I feel like they've got some new things happening. There's a lot going on. Um, but they, they do have support. Virgo, you do have support. You are surrounded by family. You are loved. You are really respected for who you are. Um, but somebody, I feel like somebody's got to reach out here because you're both just like longing to talk to each other. You both are. So with a, with a potential outcome here for your person, we have the star. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Wands. So this is really interesting, um, Virgo, because you have the Five of Swords, and they have the Six of Swords. I feel like you both kind of want to put some, put some drama behind you. You both want to like let go of any kind of petty bickering disputes, any kind of drama. You both want to move past that. Sometimes to move past that, you have to move through it. Sometimes you have to be willing to talk, even if you might not agree, even if you might have to talk about some hard things. Um, but I feel like your person is willing. They want to work through this. They want to go to the next um, they want to go to the next level. They want to go to a peaceful place and they want to go there with you. They want to be with you. Um, you are what they're wishing for. This is Aquarius energy. They see you as very unique. They see you as very creative. They wish for you. They miss you, Virgo. Someone misses you like big time. Um, I do see tremendous potential for a brand new beginning, a prosperous new beginning. There is plenty here. And if I know anything about my Virgos, they really, they can be a little bit of worriers. They really want to be able to take care of the people they love. They really want to have enough. And let me tell you, with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, that is some financial stability. That is enough. If you're not feeling it now, it is coming towards you. You are coming into a stable place. With the Page of Pentacles, you may have just started something new. With the Page of Wands, it might be very creative, but a new work, new study, new job, new relationship, any of these. Um, but I see it being very prosperous, and I see you having the confidence, Virgo, to move forward and to really take things to the next level. Um, or someone wants to move forward with you and wants to take things to the next level. But they, <laughs> they have the Six of Wands as their final outcome. So there is a return. So if you are waiting for someone, Virgo, I do see them returning to you. I do see them coming back. With the Six of Wands, they're very passionate about you. Um, they want to come home. They want to be with you. They want you to see them for who they are. They want you to really know them and they want to show up for you. And we have two sixes here. And six is like the number of like the physical plane. So I get a sense and with all these pentacles here, um, with the star, with them wishing, someone just, they, you make them very happy, like very happy. They're wishing for you, they wanna be with you. And I feel like they want to take this out of the ether, out of the dream state, out of just wishing and wondering, and bring it into this, this life. They wanna be with you, they wanna physically be with you. Someone really does miss you, they really are longing for you, they really wanna connect with you. 
if you reach out Virgo I feel like they are gonna be open to it 100% because you just make them so happy but it is quite possible this message is coming towards you you're the only one that knows honestly <laughs> but um, but I do get a sense it's quite possible that your person is being a little stubborn I don't know why I just see that they're like they they're waiting for you they're they're waiting for you but they want to be with you and they might just be waiting for that perfect time but I do see <laughs> I do see a return <laughs> there is wedding all over the place here so I just I just have to say <laughs> The cards show it to me. I got it. I have to say it. But with the here font, with the Ace of Pentacles, this always is like for me, just as like a new beginning. I see the little arch. I see the flowers. I see this stable, solid beginning with just this tremendous foundation. And then just family and friends gathering together and celebrating. And I do have to say, if this is somebody, and I don't know why they're showing this to me, that there has been some sort of separation, if this is some sort of divine connection, that there has been some miscommunication, if it has been due to family not fully accepting this connection, I see support from your family. So that's specific for someone. That's not going to be for everyone. But I see your family supporting you in this decision to be together um in this whole thing uh, i'm only seeing a few cups so um scorpio pisces cancer energy if i didn't mention that before and then the cups in the hands of this um in the hands of divine um I see a lot of air, a lot of earth, a lot of a lot of passion. This is Taurus, by the way, in your heart space, if I did not mention that. Um, earth. You really care about each other. You're passionate about each other. You I feel like you both want to build this life together. I feel like there might be with with just with me only seeing just a few cups in this reading, that you might have a hard time opening up, both of you. This might be a little challenging for you, but I feel like it's well worth it to share your heart, to share how you feel, both of you, to talk about that. I'm just going to pull a little clarifier on that. I'm just opening up. Um, I'm just really curious, like, who's going to break the ice here? <laughs> um, interesting. <laughs> the... Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles, and then more cups, the Seven of Cups. There is some divine timing at play here, but Virgo, I feel like you are thinking about someone, you're dreaming about someone, and they're dreaming about you too, like they dream about you. When I asked who needs <laughs> To, to, to make this move, I got three <laughs> pentacle cards. That is a lot of Virgo energy. I don't know, Virgo, it might be time for you to reach out to someone to tell them how you feel. I feel like someone's missing you, someone's wondering about you, someone is longing for you. Um, but only you know this. You won't, only you know. This could be that Virgo is the one that's getting the message. But this is a lot of Virgo energy here. And I am seeing the, look at this, the King and Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles twice. This is a connection that can stand the test of time. The Hierophant here, that really is. Um, I feel like you, maybe you have been on your own. If you haven't been on your own, you felt like you've been on your own. And you're good with that. But there's tremendous potential in a connection as well. 
So Spirit is saying, if you are open to the connection, it is here, it is present, you are loved. I mean, I am seeing divine connection. I am seeing someone that is just right for you. And I'm seeing the potential for just a positive, abundant, beautiful new beginning. I'm excited about it. I really love this energy for you. Just own it, go into it. I see a lot of prosperity in the new year for you, Virgo. And I just see you being so loved and so appreciated. And I ask you to appreciate yourself and recognize that the good you put out is coming back to you now. It is your time, Virgo. So just own that. I want to thank you all so much. Uh, I just love connecting with your energy. This reading was different for me. I did get a little personal here and a little emotional. And honestly, it's just because I am, I can't even tell you. I have two Virgos that I love so much and I hope I hope that you know Virgo how loved you are how worthy of love you, that you are um, you are just tremendously worthy of love so anyway if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate if you put a like on it and if you haven't subscribed yet I would love if you would if you're interested in a personal reading or something spoke to you here I am offering readings again um, personal readings my website is charitygenice.com and if you noticed I changed my name from Aquarius Rising Tarot to Charity Janice there mainly because I have so many projects I just had to consolidate everything to even try and get <laughs> get everything done that I want to get that I want to get done I'm an artist I'm an author I'm a poet I'm um <laughs> I I'm a mom I work at a coffee shop I write books I read tarot I'm a new earth gatekeeper um and a psychic sometimes too powerful of a psychic for my own good but anybody who's psychic knows how that is um but anyway, I just wanted to put all my projects under one roof. So I'm going by Charity Janice Thayer, just my, my full name, and offering readings, charitygenice.com. And one last little thing. Um, I wanted to tell you my sister, Heather Danielle Evans, has started her own channel. She's an amazing astrologist, tarot reader. And I do the love, but she really gets into your your specific energies of uh, um, astrology what's happening for you in astrology specific tarot reading just for you so if you really want to know what's happening with you i will put the link in the description please check out my sister and give her some love and welcome her here to this community i love the people that i have met in this work in this channel and i thank you so much all the virgos that have reached out to support me and be there for me i love you all so much and i will talk to you soon